Hi everyone, in this video we would learn how we have to calculate mean, median, mode and standard deviation. This video specifically I had prepared for my students. Those are studying this particular subject like statistical analysis, business analytics and they want to calculate mean, median, mode and standard deviation in Excel. First we have to learn in Excel and after that the same thing we can calculate in SPSS also. So here is, uh, you can see, I have, these are the three sections of my class, section A, section B, and section C. These are the hypothetical marks, those I had entered here. Like in section A, these are the marks of the 15 students' marks. And this is the section B, these are the marks. And this is the section C, these are the hypothetical marks that I had entered. So I just want to know what is the mean value of this section A, mean value of section B, mean value of section C. As well as I just want to know what is the median value of section A, median value of section B, and median value of section C. Same way, I just want to know what is the mode value of all these three sections, respectively, section A, B, and C, and standard deviation also. So in sim it's very simple in Excel sheet how we have to calculate. Now, first of all, what we will do, you can see here, I had put it, I'm just deleting all these values. And now I will show you how we have to calculate. So this is the mean, right? And what formula we required for to calculate mean is equal sign. After that, I'm going to use term average. And you can see here, this is average. And I will click here. And after that, I would select all these values, then I will press enter. So now you can see here, this is the value of mean for this particular section, section A. Now what I want, I want to calculate median value for this particular section. So I will simply press equal sign, then I will write median. And uh, moment you can see median, then you have to click here, number one, number two, means we again, we are going to select all these values and I will press enter. Now you can see this is median value, 51.5. Further, we want to know mode. Mode means what is the frequency of a single particular number. So mode, I am going to here is equal sign and I will write mode and mode is here I will click here and after that again I am going to select all these values and now I will press enter so now you can see mode is 35 we can check also 35 and uh, this one is the 35 yes of course this number has uh, repeated twice and that is why mode is 35. I think other value is not repeated here in this column and uh, as well as uh, not more than twice. Uh, I mean mode would be that is correct. I had cross checked and uh, now further we have to go to standard deviation and standard deviation we can see here we have to click here equal sign and after that i have to press std and std eva this one is i have to press and uh, then i'm going to select all the values of this section a right d4 to d18 we can see here this is the d column d4 this is the fourth row till 18 row 18th row so now i would press enter now you can see standard deviation is 21.594 now again and again i will not apply the same formula to all these other sections there the might be possible there is 10 section 20 section 15 sections it depends on and i will simply once i had put in this formula what i will do i will simply drag it 
simply drag it. So now this formula is applicable to section B also to section C also. Now you can see mean value is calculated 60.5, 59.39. And the same way I'm going to check median value of all other two sections also. Simply I will drag it. So now you can see here median value for section B is 63.7 and section C this is the mode value, sorry, uh, median value is 56.6. Now, I just want to check mode value also for all other sections also. So, simply I will drag it and now the mode value you can see 46. But I just want to focus on this NA, not applicable. Not applicable means there is mode value it could not be able to calculate because not a single number is repeated here. I mean, all the numbers are only once. Is there no frequency we can calculate because not a single number is repeated here. So that is why mode is any, not applicable. That is why I have shown you this particular case. Now I just want to check standard deviation. So standard deviation for the section A, 21.594. I want to check standard deviation for all other two sections also. So now you can see standard deviation is 18.89, 18.05. So same way, if we have n number of sections, so simply we can just drag it and once only we have to apply this formula and after that we have to check in Excel mean, median, mode and standard deviation. So I hope this video would be helpful to you and I'm sure in the next video I am going to tell you how you have to check variance as well as here is how you have to check um, other 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 things also kurtosis skewness we will discuss how we have to calculate with the help of excel thank you keep watching